So you're the one from Child's group. The one who got lost in the abyss. I see. Well, you no doubt know me as Scaramouche, the sixth of the Fatui Harbingers. We are here now, and I will bring you back to Snezhnaya. The rest? You mean, from your group? They're all dead. Their corpses were strewn all over the entrance of the abyss when I went in to find you. You're lucky to be the only one we found alive. It's a miracle, really. No one ever comes out of the abyss alive. Where are you now? Where do you think, dumbass? We're back in Tavan. Now, get on your feet. We don't have any more time to waste. I don't want to have to deal with rift hounds and corrosion. Huh? What do you mean you don't want to go? These are orders from your superior. If you even dare to defy me, I will simply send you back and see to it that you are killed. Is that what you want? What do you mean that's what you want? You've sworn loyalty to the Abyssal Prince? Who is that? My dear, dear, darling, are you all right? Who is this? From the Fatui, you say? I, I see. And surely you refuse to go back with him, am I correct? I'm glad. If you told me that you wanted to go back with this short, purple man, I would kill him, and then I would kill you, because I do not take kindly to betrayal, after all. <laughs> you are mine, and mine alone. Now that I've drilled that into your little skull, I'm pleased to hear that you're acting properly in this situation. Listen well, Fatui. This beautiful darling no longer belongs to you. They don't belong to the Fatui, to the Cryo Archon, to anyone but me. They're my precious sweetheart now. And they will never be anything else. They are my one and only bride. <laughs> yes, my darling. You are my bride now. You've done such a wonderful job in all our time together. Serving me in the bedroom, in the springs, Abiding to my commands, and being such a sweet little bird. It's only fair that I give you your reward. The highest honor bestowed upon anyone. Come here, my love. You are my precious bride now. Let's return to our kingdom. Our bedroom. What the fuck just happened? Well, whatever. This is turning out to be a very annoying day at work. 
Next time, I'll tell a child to run his own fucking errand. He's not worth returning favors for. Ugh, well... At least, a long night in Albedo's bedroom will probably fix my irritation. <laughs> what? You want to take a shower? No, you don't. You want to spend time with me. I can't let you get away from our romantic time together. Even if that means I have to do everything myself. You know, normally I let you take the lead. I let you spoil me. But, just for today, you can close your eyes and be assured that I will lead. That I will indulge your every desire. Consider this my gift for being such a good little bride. Now that I've thoroughly brainwashed you, I am very, very pleased by your obedience. <laughs> I'll never let you go. My darling, our ceremony will be next week. I haven't told you about it, but I have decided to hold an ordinary wedding. Of course, it will be rather different from what normal humans in Tavat would consider a wedding. We will have bonfires and sacrifices in tradition of the abyss. But we will still have rings and flowers, although they are carnivorous flowers, my favorites. I hope you will not mind. <laughs> I will never let you go, my darling. After all, I love you so, so much. But of course, not as much as you love me. <laughs> Mm-hmm.